What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a video on what can a million dollars buy you in streetwear. So I saw a video that went pretty viral and that was what can a million dollars buy you across the world. And I've seen a few different videos like this before, but I wanted to put it into the perspective of streetwear and talk about what you can get for a million dollars of streetwear for some of the most hyped items and that kind of stuff from Supreme, Nike Off-White, that kind of thing. And then we'll see how much you can get for a million dollars. Researching for this, it took a lot of math and a lot of time to kind of pick out numbers and pick different things that I wanted to break down as far as what you could get for a million dollars. Because I wanted to look at different brands like Supreme, like Gucci, like Louis Vuitton Supreme, Yeezy, stuff like that, and see what you can get in terms of money for a million dollars. To start, I wanted to see what you could get from a designer website like Gucci. Now, that is a very popular brand right now, and I wanted to see exactly what you could get for a million dollars. Now, I wanted to put it into perspective because there are a few different ways I could have approached this, and the way that I wanted to approach it was how many times could you get something for a million dollars when you look at certain aspects of what they're selling. So, for the first one, I wanted to do just the jackets for Gucci. So I went through and took down all the prices for all of the different jackets that are for sale right now for this current season at Gucci. And I honestly thought I would get, you know, maybe like $100,000 worth of stuff because they have some pretty pricey stuff. When looking, they have jackets that are up to $20,000. After adding up all the prices from every jacket all the way down to when the t-shirts start to sell, we were at $410,230. So that is an obscene amount of money. And so when you put that into perspective, you could buy the whole Gucci jacket collection right now, every jacket from Gucci, only 2.4 times with a million dollars. To me, that's a little bit crazy. There are a total of 134 items that went into that and the average is around $3,000 per item. So that lets you know that any jacket you wanna get from Gucci is gonna be around $3,000. I mean, that's the average. You can get up to 20,000, get down to, I think like the lowest I saw was around 640 bucks maybe, or maybe that was for like something similar, but that price point, the average 3,000 is nuts. So then I wanted to get a little bit into sneakers and talk about Yeezys and see how many Yeezys you could get for a million dollars. So with Yeezys, you have the retail prices and you have the resale prices. A lot of the times they don't sell for the retail prices. I don't know any Yeezys besides the Yeezy season ones that sell for under retail in the cleats, of course. But I went ahead and added up every single Yeezy that's come out between Nike and Adidas so we could see the total price. After adding all those up between the Nike, the Adidas, as well as the Yeezy season line, those came out to $12,485 in total retail prices. Which means if you have a million dollars on you and you can get the Yeezys for retail price, you could buy an entire Yeezy collection and own every single Yeezy 80 different times. Now I know what you're thinking, you could also own the whole thing for $12,000 thousand four hundred eighty five dollars but in reality you honestly can't because of the resale prices it is hard to gauge how much it would be in resale prices because the prices are so fluctuating and I wanted to stick just to the retail prices for now except for one of the collabs because it is more recent I have a little bit more accurate of a resale prices but as far as the Yeezys go the resale prices go up and down so much it would be hard to do that next up we have the Supreme and Louis Vuitton collection now this is a very very expensive and hyped drop for the collaboration between Supreme and Louis Vuitton of course Louis Vuitton is a similar brand to Gucci in terms of they have the high-end designer prices because they are a designer brand that sell things like purses, wallets, and whatnot. And so with this collab, there are a lot more items than I thought when I was researching this. So there are a total of 52 items. To purchase these different items, if you didn't get them on the initial drop, you had to be a customer of Louis Vuitton who spent a lot of money. So they had some of the pieces at the stores that they would only let people buy if you had purchased with them a decent amount before. So if you wanted to buy the whole collection, I don't even know if that's honestly possible, if you could just walk in there and buy all of them, but it would cost you $139,000. Roughly, it's $139,710, and that's for 52 items. Now, there are a bunch of different items that went for a high price point. So there are two items that make up $90,000 of that whole total. One of them is the Supreme Louis Vuitton skateboard deck and trunk. That was $40,000, which looks like a really amazing piece that I would love to have, but I would not pay that price point. As well as they had another trunk that was $50,000. To put that into perspective, if you had a million dollars in cash right now, you could walk in and buy the entire collection 7.15 times, basically. If you're wondering if I would buy anything from the collection, I honestly would buy the card holder because I honestly already have one from Louis Vuitton. This one, it, it's pretty good quality. Some of the stuff is kind of rubbed off on the edges, but I really actually like the red Supreme one. I mean, they're not selling for too much. I mean, a thousand bucks, that's like kind of pointless to me to spend a thousand bucks on a card holder. This one isn't nearly that much. It is still too expensive, but it's not nearly that much. Next thing I want to look at is the most expensive sneakers. And so what I wanted to do for this is use Flight Club because Flight Club most of the time has the most ridiculous prices. It, some of the stuff isn't that bad, 
but for the most part they have the highest prices on the resale market and that's why I wanted to use them because I'd be getting that top dollar price point as you guys might have heard Adidas just passed Jordan brand as the number two sneaker company right now so that's kind of crazy but I wanted to break it down between the most expensive Jordan, Adidas, and Nike shoe. And honestly, it seems Adidas has been doing better as far as selling out sneakers recently, but when researching this, I found out that there are more expensive Jordans than the most expensive Adidas right now. So initially when looking on the website, the first Jordan that comes up on the top price list is the Jordan 3 Grateful. And that one came in at $25,000 for a size 12. But when you do a little bit more research and look at different sizes, the M&M Jordan 4 is actually the most expensive. The reason it's like that is because on Flight Club's website, when you research a shoe, they put the cheapest size price on the outside of it. So you guys can't see like how much it goes for your actual size. So yes, the M&M Jordan 4 is the most expensive. And it comes in at $30,000 and that's for a size eight, which means you could buy 33 pairs of the Jordan 4 M&M. Next up, we have the most expensive Adidas on the Flight Club website, and that is going to be the Pharrell Williams Friends and Family Maroon NMD. Now these are the human races, and the most expensive Adidas on Flight Club's website right now is only $10,000. So with Adidas passing Jordan brand, it's still crazy to see that there are more limited sneakers that sell for a higher price point than the most expensive Adidas right now because that's a third of the price of the Jordan 4 M&M. Next shoe is going to be the most expensive Nike and that's going to be the Nike Air Mag and that's the 2016 edition where they did a bunch of different raffles and whatnot. And this one is selling for $60,000. That isn't a size eight as well, which means that size eight is a very sought after size because it's the same with the M&Ms. That is the size that sold for the most, but you could buy the Nike Air Mag 16.6 times with a million dollars. I wanted to see how many times you could buy last week's Supreme drop with a million dollars. So basically I added up all the prices from last week's drop. This week's prices just dropped, but I don't know if that's everything and all the prices. So I want to just go ahead and use last week's because all of these stuff is on the website. So I went through and did all the clothing and the majority of the accessories and there were a total of 140 items and the total amount came out to $18,320. Now obviously that's if you could get everything at retail prices, which means with a million dollars you could buy every item from last week's Supreme drop 54.5 times. This was factoring in the different cars, like there's five different hats, different colors of shirts and whatnot, but that's how many times you could buy the last week's Supreme drop. Last thing I wanted to look at was the Off-White and Nike collab, how many times you could buy it. Now only five of the shoes are released right now and we have the current resale prices for them, but for the retail prices, you could buy the Off-White and Nike collab 1,123 times because it only comes out to $890, which is really not that bad. But for the resale, it came out to run $5,600, which means you could buy them 178 times with a million dollars compared to 1,123. Okay, so yes, you can tell by my voice, I am a little bit stuffy, but this is after the video. I'm editing right now and it's about to go up actually. And I thought, why did I not add everything that I put in total between the Supreme Louis Vuitton collection, the Off-White and Nike collection, all of that and then see if you could buy all of it for a million dollars. I don't know why I didn't think of that while I was filming. So I have all the prices pulled up now so we can see if we can actually get everything for under a million dollars. I was making this video using an Excel spreadsheet so you guys can see like I added actually all the numbers on here for everything. So that kind of shows you, I mean, it, it took a little bit of work to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a calculator and then I'm gonna go ahead and add all these numbers. So we got 30,000. So there is the total for that's not right. Okay, so there's our accurate total 681,000. So you could buy a lot of this stuff multiple times over. We still have $300,000 left. So basically there is a lot of things you can buy for a million dollars in streetwear, which obviously if all of us could get a check right now for $1 million, I mean, that would probably change all of our wardrobes, all of our shoe collections, unless you're smart and you invest your money. I don't think sneakers are the worst investment. I wouldn't buy sneakers in terms of making them as an investment, like you're trying to buy a house to invest in something. But I mean, when you look at sneakers and like reselling them, you can buy a Yeezy for $200 or even sometimes $300, $400, and then you can resell them for more most of the time. So it's not really that bad. So like right now, if I went homeless and I had literally no form of making money, I could sell all my sneakers and make money, which isn't that bad compared to if I buy certain things that I don't know what to compare it to that I wouldn't be able to make any money on. Okay, so I don't know why it steered into that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut back to the video and end it. I just wanted to come in here and show you guys the total of everything put together if you wanted to buy every single piece in this video. Basically, that means you could buy a lot of stuff with a million dollars, but it's crazy to kind of put it into perspective of all the different items. If you guys like this style of video where I kind of break down different price points and whatnot, I wanna see more stuff like most expensive box logos or just different things like that, let me know down below and leave a like on this video. But that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.
so fortunate we got this far And I just wanna go far to the sky But I don't